Hey guys, welcome back to Amber's TV. Some of you might know I have a Spanish girlfriend and she also lives in Germany and she has a few things to say about Germany every now and then. The last few weeks and month, I, I took note. I wrote them down, these things. And so here's my list of 10 things I learned about Germany from a Spanish girlfriend. Number one on the list. When it's 30 degrees Celsius outside, that's like 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're in bed, make sure to fully cover your body in the duvet, like a sleeping bag. Because if you leave a spot open, the cold air might touch your skin and you might freeze to death. So yeah, and also make sure that your boyfriend doesn't even think about slightly moving the duvet while you're asleep, because you might not notice it and then it's too late. Game over. Number two, summer is the nicest week in Germany. Yeah, and during that week in summer, also make sure that you have your hot water bottle nearby because the heating's turned off. And you know, just in case the temperature drops a little bit, you might need it. <laughs> Number three on the list is slightly scary, slightly scary. Our mosquitoes are huge. They are like dinosaurs. Yeah, there's not much to say. They're terrifying. I don't know how tiny the mosquitoes are in Spain, but ours must be huge. Number four, I also learned from her that I can swim in my glass of beer. Yeah, because it's so huge. We Germans have huge glasses. I didn't know that they are so huge that I can swim in them, but now I know it thanks to her. Number five is a bit of a tricky story because apparently our waiters and barkeepers, they are very stingy. And that's because she usually doesn't get the cola with ice. And in Spain you always get the cola with ice, apparently because it's so hot. I think it could be because a lot of Germans, they don't want the cola with ice because of the watery taste when the ice cubes melt or um, some people think, at least that's what I heard, um, that they get less cola when they order cola with ice. Often you get the bottle with it so you can just pour it in. I think it's always easier to add them than take them out once they're in there. And that's why they might just not put them in right from the start. I'm not sure, but maybe there's a waiter or a barkeeper who could enlighten us why you usually don't get the cola with ice unless you specifically ask for it. Number six on the list. Yeah, so apparently every day we speak our language and we survive, it's a miracle. Yeah, because we have words with three consonants in a row and no one can speak them without choking to death. Yeah, I'm alive, I'm alive. And I can say words like Angstschweiß and Unterschrift. Yeah, I'm happy. And we're already at number seven, which should have been number one, because that was her first impression of Germany. When she arrived the plane and she looked down from the plane, she saw a lot of green fields. So, we must live near cows, because it's green everywhere, and there's forest everywhere, which basically, Whole Germany is just a huge farmland. Yeah, she changed her opinion now. And yeah, now these green fields, they are dog toilets. And then when you go jogging, you step in it. Number eight just happened recently and <laughs> she told me that the real estate crisis must have hit Germany really hard because the snails lost their houses. Yeah. <laughs> and I figured out that after a few years of living in Germany, she finally discovered slugs. Number nine is really useful, not for me, but for anyone who learns German, because apparently there's no difference in pronunciation between umlauts and normal vowels. Yeah, so there's no difference between a and a, or boden and burden. No, it sounds totally the same, right? Boden and burden. Finally, I figured it out. So yeah, just forget about umlauts, learn German and just use vowels. It's so awesome, so easy, simple. And last but not least, number 10. This is a really important one because it's, it can save us a lot of time. We spend too much time baking cakes. There's a lot of bakeries in Germany. Just leave the house and there's a bakery. Why do we bake cakes at home? Yeah, just lie at the beach in the sun in Spain. You don't need to bake a cake. Actually, I don't bake very often. I think I baked a cake once. No, it was a Stollen. And I made a video. 
and it was a disaster. So I'm gonna link it here, you know, it was old camera. Have a look. So these were the 10 things I learned about Germany from my Spanish girlfriend. And if you follow these rules, no, they're not actually rules. If you know these points, you're gonna have a much easier time in Germany and you're always welcome and stop by here and have fun.